Hakuna Matata Travelers, Todd Michelle here, and we have made our way back over to the end. There goes Michelle. We have made our way back over to Animal Kingdom Lodge. It is December 5th. Yes, you heard that is correct. It is December 5th. So if you're watching this, it's the same day as you're watching it. How about that? First day of our vacation. And we've come to try Boma out again for breakfast because we are meeting some fellow travelers. So come along and let's see if Boma's changed anything and meet some new fellow travelers. And here we go into Animal Kingdom and they do have their Christmas decorations up. Try not to run into anything. That's usually what I do. There is their beautiful Christmas tree. Along with the garden. Garland, garden, garland hanging from the upstairs, balconies and everything. Absolutely one of the prettiest lobbies on Disney property. Did Joe Rody design this also? I do believe so. And once again, this is the layout of Animal Kingdom Lodge. This is the lodge right here. And over here is the Kadani Village, which is a DVC property. And there are some DVC rooms in these buildings over here also. But this is their main DVC property right over here, Kadani Village. And this is where Sanaa is over here. But Boma is here on the bottom floor because we're on the lobby floor and it's on the next floor down. And this is Ginger the Giraffe, and this is Animal Kingdom's gingerbread exhibit here in the lobby. But it's Ginger the Giraffe. So this area is a nice little sitting area, and it's just recently reopened off of the lobby. And let's see, they used to have animals, but they have African, art African artifacts here. But they used to have animals out here. Let's see if they, because see the side door right there? Oh, looky there. Right out there is a giraffe. And this is a side savanna right off of the lobby. It's by the mailbox area. And this is the back of the rooms here. Mr. Ostrich walking by. That's pretty cool. But like I said, it's just right off of the lobby. It's to the left of the concierge desk when you come into the Animal Kingdom Lodge. And here we go. This is Boma. We are back for breakfast. It's been about three months and we're going to see if there's been any changes to the breakfast. I'm just so hoping they have the sticky buns today. So let's go see what they have to offer us this morning for breakfast. This is Beth right here, and this is Brian, and this is our fellow travelers. And these are the folks that, that always bet on the straws. Who, if I'm gonna remember, if I'm not gonna remember, but today I remembered it, and I brought two extra for them. So we ordered our drinks, and now we're gonna go up and see what the buffet has to offer us. Uh-oh, there's our drinks right there. They got the Bloody Marys, which look fantastic. May I borrow your yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna borrow Brian's really quick. Look at that. And the big old olives on top. That looks fantastic. And apparently, thank you, Brian, for that. And apparently, they went back to the original pog juice here. So I cannot wait to give that a try. And remember, drinks are included in the buffet price when you come here. So Michelle got a Coke and a pog juice. So 
now we're going to go out and see what the buffet has to offer. Hopefully nothing's changed, and I hope those sticky buns are still up there. That's what I've been looking forward to. Okay, and if you've never been to Animal Kingdom's Boma, Animal Kingdom's Lodge Boma here, just remember, it's set up in like stations. So this is the hot station, there's another station there, station over there, and the station over there where the sticky buns are way over here. But we're gonna start here at the hot section and go from there. And we'll see if there's been any changes to the menu, which I'm hoping there isn't because the ham on there is fantastic also. Brian is loading up right there. And I will have to say, the asparagus and the roasted tomatoes are like so good with the ham. And then with the sauce that they have, and it's, it's chef cut roasted ham there. And as you can see back there, it is fire roasted over the open pit. And it smells fantastic, always. And that is the Boma mustard. That is fantastic. They serve this at breakfast and at dinner. And then this is their oatmeal station. You come over here, open kitchen back there. They're always preparing, getting ready for dinner, getting ready for breakfast. And this is the sausage and potato section. And the one different here at Boma, they have Mickey waffles, but they also have Simba waffles. And then they have their egg station right here with omelets. But there's eye in the omelets, maybe, maybe not. And then fruit, we'll pass this real quick. You know, I'm not going to eat none of that fruit. Yogurt, we'll pass that real quick, no. The deviled eggs will look pretty good. This is like their charcuterie area. Oh, we're getting close to the pastries. Let's see. There's the pastries. Oh, there they are. Okay, so we've gotten our plates. There's Michelle's right there. And as one other fellow YouTuber says, this is what we're dealing with right here. And this is a carnivore's dream. This buffet is a carnivore's dream. Because as you can tell, there's not much on there that's... Oh, wait. That's roasted the tomato. Order. I'm happy to report. <laughs> the roasted tomato. Okay, me and Michelle are getting ready to go back up. Um... Brian and Beth have just went back up to get their second round. I'm finishing up my eggs with the hop, which is really good. Um, it's a African white cornmeal, which is grits to hear me in the South. Um, with that tomato chutney on there, it was fantastic. I did get the plantains. Did you get a plantain? Michelle didn't get the plantains, but they're really good. Sorry about the lightning, because I'm sitting right here in Bow. See? Sitting right here in the front of the light, so I'm gonna finish this up so I can go up and get some sticky buns. Huh? So I didn't have to sit in there. Yeah, Michelle didn't want to sit here, so I appreciate that. I get the glow of the sunshine, which is fine. But I'm gonna finish this up so we can go up and get some sticky buns. And Michelle bamboozled me; she got a vented knife, and somehow I w uh, <laughs> ended up with a vented knife. So, but it still worked. It still worked. A vented knife. A vented knife. It did not deny me any food <laughs> sustenance this morning. So I'm going to finish this up and go get our sticky buns. Okay, I got my favorite food, as you can tell. Once again, sticky buns. Oh, wait. I mean, there we go. Sticky buns. And Brian, I was watching Brian get his plate, and he got the French French toast bread pudding. Yep. Yeah, French toast bread pudding. And, of course, I had to put some more pecan sauce on it. I haven't tried this, I don't believe. But then again... I eat so much, I go into a stupor. So um, then I have, I don't know. So we'll see. That's so good. I see why you get that. Yeah. I think I like the bread pudding better. You do? Yeah. It's lighter and it has a little more flavor to it. Yeah. A new favorite of Boma. There you go. But it's all my favorite of Boma. <laughs> 
Oh, come on now. <laughs> I tried to get Brian to tell you how much this meal was, by the way. He declined on camera interview. Oh, you can't that. Ah, that God, that's terrible. <laughs> but no, um, actually, it is $29 still here at Boma, so we, we think it's all a great deal. So for the amount of food you get and that you can just keep eating and the original pog juice is back. If you keep one person at the table, can you just come back? Can you, like, go to your room and then just come back? No, as I don't think. No, you can't there? do a rotational dining. <laughs> I think we've finished up here. I think Beth is a little upset with herself because she's, you know, eating too much on the... It's okay, I'm going to walk off. She's going to Animal Kingdom to walk it off, and I'm going to the apartment to sit on the couch. That's <laughs> going to be my day to get ready for our flight tomorrow. I can't wait to leave. Michelle's a little nervous. But it was wonderful having breakfast with Brian and Beth this morning. It was fantastic meeting new travelers. And we just had two other travelers stop by, which they got to meet also, Jeff and Jessica. So thanks for stopping by. And like we always say, travelers, until next time, Travel and Adventure is out there.